Get ready for Real Talk Radio. You're listening to the National Intel Report with your host, John Statmiller. Dow Jones down today, 161. NASDAQ off 41. Uh, let me see another big loss. New York Stock Exchange down 115. TSX down 144. But don't worry, the people that want to buy these stupid little government bonds... Hey, the dollar is at eighty, eighty dollars and seventy cents, up forty-two. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, Henry and New England. Your question for Bob? Yes. Um, I have two comments. One question. I have one question. The, uh, uh, the, the that organization you mentioned, Econo- organization for economic something that compared. Yeah. Okay. Um, Bob, can you can you tell Henry about that so we can get this out of the way? Uh, OECD and uh, it's a O-E-C-D. group of countries O-E-C-D. that okay. that pool their information together and then they come up with statistics on it. Okay, and it's called the OECD Organization for Economic. What's the C and the D stand for? I can't think of it offhand. All right, okay, but it could be found on the web. Yeah, the website yeah. is just OECD. Yeah, just, just Google or, it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Your comment. All right. One other. All right. One other thing. I heard. Of, I, I'm sure, pretty sure this was Valente that said this. You mentioned about the the stuff with the crime and the unemployment, and the, yeah. you know, and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Well, you know, if we had kind of had some sense, more like some people do, like in New Zealand or Switzerland, instead of. Uh, having these globalists, I mean, I know they run other countries too. They run parts of Switzerland too, I'm sure. Uh, but even Australia, except until very recently, um, didn't allow just millions and millions of third world filth into this country to take the American people's uh, jobs or downsize them or lower the wages of their jobs. And I know this for a fact because I remember when I was a little boy in 1980. And Nassau County, and I was, went to movie theaters, and I didn't see any of them. So this nonsense that they're doing, that is one of the <coughs> and screwing our own college students and screwing our own people up the behind. I have to be careful what I say because I know we're on the air. Um, that is one of the dumbest. I mean, I'm not just the globalists. I would listen to talk, talk show, radio shows, you know, on AM. I know about the, the hoopla with the, you know, they just have a spin like Rush Limbaugh and that. Uh, okay, you, you the, have to the, start the people, narrowing this down, Henry. Right, I want to narrow it down. The people who called up, uh, particularly older people, far older than you or me, who would support, I mean, I remember this way back in the 80s, who would support some of that stuff that's going on, yet they weren't tied in with Brzezinski or Kissinger or anything like that, and yet they would support this stuff, thought it was good for society. And it's the dumbest thing we ever did. Now you got all kinds of crap. So as far as the yeah. crime goes, I yeah. think either one, you're going to have American people first. They're going to probably, especially maybe some American white people, they may take it out on all this immigration that yeah. we got here, all taking right. all their. All uh, right, Henry. Henry, I appreciate your I appreciate your call. Uh, you're you're going in a lot of different directions, and and I wanted to get a take here from Bob because, you know, we we hear the complaints again. Well, you know, the borders aren't closed down. We got millions of illegals in the country. Blah 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 blah. This is part of the Illuminist program, not only to smash the family here in this country, but to smash the culture and the society. Correct, Mr. Chapman? It is absolutely correct. And in addition to that, it's undermining the lower part of the economic equation in employment in the country. There's a lot of citizens that can't get jobs at, say, $10 an hour because there are people who are in the country illegally who will work for six or seven dollars. And so it's ripped the underneath right out from under the marketplace for employment. And that's why those figures are going to get so, so bad. Ralph in New York. Hello, Ralph. Oh, hello. Hi. I want to ask you a question. Um, yeah, uh, my question is to Mr. Chapman directly. Um, uh, what is the future of the urban cities like New York, Chicago, and in the cities throughout, throughout the country, we think it will become similar to California, will be bankrupt? Yeah, I do, uh, unless the administrations within those cities and states dramatically cut employment and, uh, and cut, you know, costs in, 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 on top of employment. And I know that's politically unacceptable, but if they don't do that, well, they'll all go broke because right. they can't go beyond their budget. So, 
uh, they got to do something. And people are screaming about the real estate taxes. Uh, they're going up and they should be going down, and uh, it's it's a bad situation. Well, even like uh, General Salente was mentioning, you have a lot of commercial, you have a lot of empty commercial real estate here in the city. Mm -hmm. and you're starting to see areas of Lower Manhattan and <laughs> even parts of across across the bridge in New Jersey, also in a lot of malls. I was like, wow, well, I was starting to see that, but uh, uh, I'm starting to see signs of that now. <laughs> and uh, and and also and uh, you're starting to see also this old stadium. Uh, George Steinbrenner up here, the old Yankee Stadium up in the Bronx. It's a, it's it's a, it's like an empty empty lot now. <laughs> well, I I wouldn't be Jerry Jones trying to float a uh, billion plus dollar sports stadium for the Dallas Cowboys in a shrinking economy. I mean, was this guy left out of the loop? Is it somehow that the owners in the NFL? Aren't friends and pals and buds of the bankers and whatever right, else? I, I mean, it, it's absolutely insane. And by the way, Ralph, uh, the Republicans just recently is asking for wage reductions in the country. And and again, uh, and going back to the previous caller, look, the, the reason, one of the reasons why 30 plus million, and we had it pegged at almost 40 million, 10 million may have gone back to Mexico and parts, who knows where they came from in the first place. But part of that program was not only to destroy the culture in this country, it right. was also to destroy the wage scale as well. Because the rest of the world has always been complaining, oh, well, we consume too much of the energy and this, that, and the other. Your standard of living is too high. And also on this other radio talk show, Alex Jones was talking about the carbon tax, uh, uh, these other situations going on, and also uh, talking about uh, these other uh, Congress is talking about abolishing the uh, uh, law similar to the First Amendment. That anything you say could be against you. I'm like, I was, I thought he was a little bit, you know, getting carried away, but he found out it was true. Well, well, and, you know, uh, Alex, he delivers so much bad news that sometimes people have a have a hard time wading through it and and really understanding it because he takes the shotgun approach, whereas. I'll take a subject matter and, and rip the thing apart and give you all the, the gory detail, but right. you know, do like it. you said, John, like you said, like Mr. Chapman was saying before, uh, you know, the situation with Bernie Madoff and and people here in New York City. There's been signs throughout the city with people jumping out of their apartments yeah. in high floors out of here in Manhattan and in, in, in the city, <laughs> and also there's been signs also with all this distraction with the Michael Jackson. And the L.A. fiasco of yeah. the Staples yeah. Center, this is what's so you hear right yeah. now. And, and, and you know what they really have to do? All these people, really, Ralph, only have to do one thing. Follow the money. Find out where the trickery and the deceit took place. Let's get this thing squared away. Dump the damn Federal Reserve, the fiat system in this country, and rebuild. If, if we do that, rather than these people running around in circles, not knowing anything from anybody... And, and, you know, it's, it's, it's time to stop the confusion and the fear and the angst and all the anxiety and all the other associated psychological aspects to this. Let's just get rid of it. Ralph, I thank you thank for you. your call. Thank, thank you, John. All thank right. you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Bob, <laughs> God, I'm getting tired of talking about this. Uh, John, I get a very bad cold. Uh, yeah, I understand. Ooh, That's why I'm not spontaneous today. I understand. Bob's got swine flu. Maybe. Don't they got, say they, 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 they got to you, Bob. Could be. <laughs> <Oink -oink. laughs> it's only a compilation of five different flus. Don't sweat it. It's not even a swine flu. You, you know, you know the thing that's really that really bugs me more than anything else. Uh, there was a guy running around on a national ticket telling everybody who would who would care to listen. Exactly what was coming down the pike, and nobody paid any attention to him whatsoever. Are we talking about a replay of Ron Paul? Yep, yeah, sure. Hmm? I mean, what did Ron Paul say in the year leading up to uh, 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 the presidential election? Um, everything he said was absolutely correct. And now you've got the Republicans can't figure out which side is up. And, and they've got the answer to their, to their question. Um, how to how to uh, re re uh, 
invent the Republican Party, but well, they pay absolutely no attention to, to Ron Paul. Well, and, yet, and yet here was a man that, 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 that cornered the youth vote 